Improving health across Europe by speeding up the development of innovative medicines with better patient access is the objective of the Innovative Medicines Initiative. This public-private partnership facilitates open collaboration between key players in healthcare. Nick Thatcher went to meet some of those involved. Alzheimer's disease, cancer and antimicrobial resistance are among some of the great global health challenges of our age. Collaboration and innovation will be key to making progress in tackling them. And since 2008, the Innovative Medicines Initiative has been driven by a passion to speed up the development of the next generation of medicines and shape a much healthier future for us all. I've come to Brussels to the IMI's first scientific symposium. It's an opportunity to learn more about the world's largest public-private partnership in health, which is funded jointly by the European Union, represented by the European Commission, and the European pharmaceutical industry through EFVIA. The IMI has created a platform where not only companies can work together in so-called pre-competitive research, but also bringing in academia, clinicians, and other important stakeholders like regulatory authorities, health technology assessors, and most importantly, patient groups. We've been able to build this new ecosystem where drug development is accelerated. And the Ebola outbreak in Western Africa in 2014 is an example of where the IMI was able to play its part in supporting vaccine development, clinical trials, diagnostics, as well as storage and transport. IMI accelerated the development of this vaccine significantly, first by enabling the collaboration between academic centers and the industry, as well as by significant funding, which allowed us to go very fast and global and bring a vaccine quickly for this disease. The IMI calls this radical collaboration, and across a number of different projects, major players in the pharmaceutical industry recognize the value of bringing scale to their work. IMI really provides a mechanism for doing some extensive and uniquely broad uh, collaborations right across public and private partners that allows us to bring in multiple players, multiple sets of data and really brings validity and veracity to the outputs of projects. So it's a really extensive program that allows that radical collaboration. Jan Vollert is a statistician at Imperial College London who's been involved in three projects with the IMI looking at improving the treatment of chronic pain. The value of bringing academia and industry together is above and beyond what each part in Singular can achieve. I've, for example, been on a project where multiple companies came together to give their data up and to send it to an academia post that would then do an analysis of it in a unified fashion but they would have never shared these data with the other companies and had good insights that might even be leading to new projects coming out of that now. The Associated Partners Scheme also opens up the IMI's activities to a wider range of stakeholders, including NGOs and foundations. Although IMI focuses on diseases that affect the European population, many of these diseases have a far-reaching impact. And the problems and concerns issues that we have in trying to find solutions for these diseases are not that much different in the lower resource countries. So the coming together of NGOs and foundations who have a common interest always helps. The project boards on display here speak to the more than 100 projects the IMI has supported over 10 years that have involved more than 900 participants from 42 countries and its founding chairman wants even more innovative thinking in terms of future collaborations. For IMI to be successful, it needs to continue its history of, uh, even, I would say, even more forcefully of coming up with programs that are very unorthodox, that include unorthodox partners, uh, you know, why not automation, aerospace, much more artificial intelligence. Uh, these kind of partnerships are, are absolutely key to the success. From transforming medical research to breaking down barriers to treatment and care, the IMI will continue lighting the way to finding solutions to some of the biggest medical challenges of our times.